Hello, OSPR members. Uh, this is Alicia Mowry with the Ohio School Public Relations Association, and I am back with another member highlight. This is our effort to help all of our members get to know each other since we can't get to get together in person. Um, and today with me, I have Jan Gluth from Port Clinton City School District. So welcome, Jan. Thank you for having me. So. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time. I know you guys made uh, an important announcement today about your, your school district. Do you want to share with us what, what happened? Uh, yes, we've been hybrid since the start of school, and we just announced today that we'll be going back um, full um, five days. Um, so we've got a lot of activity right now on social media and all good. So far, everybody's oh, excited to be back. So. Oh, good, good. I know at our district, we were hesitant, you know, sometimes you send those emails and you can just kind of wince when you hit send and you're just waiting to see what the reaction is. And I am amazed how many people are just so excited to be back and have a little sense of normalcy and, and really want to uh, get back to, to education. Right. So I think starting with the hybrid, you know, we were able to start the school year slowly with masks and the safety precautions. And mm -hmm. I think the parents feel reassured. We also have the online option and that will continue for the parents that just aren't real comfortable sending the kids to school yet. So, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So Jane, your title is student staff and community development. Uh, but as you shared with me on the outside of your door, it just says community relations. Correct. <laughs> so, so you are in it with the rest of us, uh, doing all the communications, website, social media, managing all of that, that feedback that you get from your school district. Um, how's the school year going so far? It sounds like it's going well since you're bringing students back. Yes. So, so far, so good. So we've, we've got a great staff, great community. So uh, it's, it's been going very well. So. Oh, good. And how long have you been in school public relations? Um, school public relations. This is actually year twenty. Wow! So, Congratulations. Thanks. So, <laughs> uh, prior to that, I worked in um, long-term care in marketing oh, wow. for retirement facilities. So, what brought you to school PR? Well, I wanted to get back to um, my community. So. Um, and it just always intrigued me. And I knew the predecessor of my position and what she did. And it just was just something I felt I wanted to do. So I, I'm a product of Port Clinton City Schools. And oh, I wanted to come back. I, I said I was a cheerleader for Port Clinton City Schools. I still feel like I'm a cheerleader for Port Clinton City Schools. Oh, that so. is so fitting. <laughs> I love that. So, so Port Clinton... Um, Sort of in the little northern of central Ohio, where I where I'm located, um, right on the water. Correct. And I was watching. It looked like a video that was made maybe a couple of years ago, a district video about how um, a port is reliant on water, and that your school district is reliant on each other and on the community. And I just thought that was such a nice reminder of how every school district is unique, and we all have our own personality. Uh, but I thought that was a really, really well done video. Oh, thank you. Um, we are very proud of that video, and uh, it worked out really well. So, thanks. Good. Well, if anybody's looking for video inspiration, and I know most of us are trying to create new content right now, um, I highly recommend you go to the uh, Port Clinton City School District website and watch that video. Jan did a great job with it. Oh, thank you. So um, what is the most rewarding thing about working in school PR or about your job with Port Clinton? There's so many things, you know, every day is different. Yes. So just we're all, so you never know what you start the day planning to do is maybe not where you're going to end up. But, you know, I enjoy working, um, seeing our teachers in the classroom. I love sharing those stories. Um, I guess the most rewarding thing would be when people in the community acknowledge that and see mm -hmm. that and we get the feedback um, that they like what we're doing at the school district. Uh, I also work with our alumni association, so that I really enjoy that as well. So working with our alumni, and then we have some senior citizens programs that we do. So, um, so I get all age spec of uh, all ages of the spectrum. So it, it's good. <laughs> yeah, you get to work with the whole community, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's wonderful. And, I, and, you know, that really goes back to that video that you made with the, the whole message of everything gets tied together. Um, you know, you have the youngest, you have young students, you have your alumni, you have the, the older generation that um, 
still supports the, the community in your school district. So uh, I just think that's so beautiful that you can tie everything together and work with everyone in the community to support your school district. Yeah, well, thanks. We have a lot to be thankful for. You know, our community supported new buildings several years ago, um, and they're, they've always been very supportive. So we like to tell them what's going on so that they know, you know, we're good stewards of their taxpayer dollars. So. Absolutely. So what is the most challenging? And it's, that can either be related to, you know, what's going on now with COVID or just in general, but what, what do you find the most challenging thing about school PR? I don't know if I would call it a challenge, but um, I think s some of our educators are a little hesitant to share uh, what's going on. Um, they don't like to toot their own horn, so to speak. Wow. So, so that it, it's not really a frustration, but it's like I want to know. So mm -hmm. that's the, probably the biggest challenge, just to make sure you know they're not promoting their themselves mm -hmm. they're promoting what's happening in the schools so um, yeah this is a group of people who have a hard time bragging about themselves right we just want the information we want to know what great things you're doing right so <laughs> so what, what do you do how do you how do you draw that out of them um just to remind them you know um when i do an electronic newsletter anything i share out I try to share internally too and remind them like here's the electronic newsletter link please let me know so we can share with the community what's going on sometimes that sparks you know interest um just walking around in the school buildings so mm -hmm. that helps too just um to pop in um it's a little different this year <laughs> um but um you know just to you know try to see what's going on because all of us know uh, if you just walk around a school building, there's always something intriguing going on. So absolutely. Yeah. I, I've never before so missed being able to just kind of walk down the hallway and learn mm -hmm. about what's going on. Things that people wouldn't think to just, you know, start an email and send it to you or pick up the phone and call. But if they see you in the hallway, they'll say, Oh, that's, Hey, by the way, I mean, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about a tool or tip or something that you've discovered um, that you've either been using forever and ever and you can't live without or maybe something you discovered recently with how we're doing everything virtual. What's, what's a, a tool that you can pass on to our members that we should all look up? Um, well, I love Canva. So that <laughs> um, that's my new favorite. Mm -hmm. But um, we have a, a mobile app through School Info app. Mm -hmm. And through especially through the recent events of COVID that has been a huge tool for us um, to okay. get information out so um, the teachers are, are starting to use it more as well um, we can use building wise district wide um, so that and um, and then final forms too we've been using final forms for student um, management and then we are able to sell, send emails out from that so oh that's great so, so all of that so, time saver and mm -hmm. the, the communication out. Right. And just cross, you know, communicating, like using the app to say, check your final forms email, mm -hmm. you know, um, so, oh, and of course, social media. So <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Whether you like it or not, we are all on social media all the time and, and using that. But right. um, when, when they can all kind of talk to each other and work together, then, then that's even better. Right. Uh, so one of the things I have been talking to a lot of my colleagues about in school PR is that need to um, set boundaries and break away and just, and take care of ourselves. You know, like you, you said it perfectly. We are the school cheerleaders um, and mm -hmm. we cannot get out there and say all these great things and, and do what we do if we're exhausted or if we're, if we're run down. So what do you do outside of the school day to sort of um, recharge your own batteries? Um, I think that's, you know, as a, a mom, so even though my kids are older, you know, it's hard to, you know, sit back and take time for ourselves so that I uh, don't probably do that as much as I should. Um, I think um, we've had some great weather and I think my backyard is, my back patio is kind of a little oasis. So uh, uh, with we have, we have dogs, so obviously, you know, they force you outside too. So um, it's just... I think I've been enjoying my back patio a little bit more and just kind of um, relaxing at the end of the day before, you know, heading inside to again. start dinner. 
Yeah, that's that's great. I love it when you can just you know find something at home, find something at home that that um, you can just sit and enjoy. So that that is so nice that you can do that. Right. Um, so I know you have a really busy day. You probably have um, tons of social media posts now to go back and check again. Uh, but I really appreciate you taking the time to do this and just helping us all get to know our members better. Um, so Jan Gluf with uh, Port, Port Clinton City Schools um, has a wealth of experience and knowledge. Uh, so reach out to her if you have questions as part of our OSPR membership. Check out their website. Uh, watch that fun video. It's like two minutes. So it takes no time at all, uh, but you know, it's really good and inspirational. I think we can all take a few tips, tips from it as we're creating our own content. So Jan, thank you again. It was so nice to talk to you. Well, thank you. And thank you to all OSPRA does for all of us. It's appreciated.